Hi everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. Hello, I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, director of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's been a month since the game's release, and we're happy to see so many people enjoying the game. Thank you very much. We've received a lot of feedback from the fans, and the entire dev team is very thankful for that. This has made us extra motivated to work on the updates. Speaking of which, today we are here to tell you about Free Title Update 1, version 11. First, let's have a look at this trailer. Enjoy! Free Title Update 1, version 11, for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, will release on August 10th. Today, we'll go into more detail about this free update. So stay tuned. Version 11 will add four new monsters. We've already revealed Lucent Nargakuga and Seething Basil Beast. But today, we also revealed Silver Rathalos and Gold Rathia. These monsters will become available after you reach Master Rank 10. The last time we saw Lucent Nargakuga was in Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate in 2013, so it's been a while. It lives in a new locale that we're adding in the update, the Forlorn Arena. Its distinguishing feature is that it can use its bright white fur to refract moonlight, allowing it to become invisible. Speaking of becoming invisible, Camellios has a similar characteristic, but Lucent Nargakuga is much more agile and the trails left by its red eyes in the darkness and the fog are a true sight to behold. In terms of visuals, the designers took great care to preserve the atmosphere of the original locale, while adding new elements and interpretations to the ambience and background, among other things. Seething Basil Geese, contrary to the regular Basil Geese, has explosive scales that are constantly active, making it much more dangerous. It can even go into an extra powerful state where it seethes with even more rage, 
at which point it will start showering the area with critically volatile scales. Today, we revealed the arrival of Silver Rathlos and Gold Rathlos. They can go into a powerful incandescent state where they start attacking even more ferociously. We've given them some new moves for Sunbreak, so we think you'll find them quite challenging. The armor you can forge from the materials of the monsters added in version 11 all come included with new skills as well, so you'd have even more customization options. Some of you may already be playing this, but I'd like to do a quick breakdown of Anomaly Quests, which are a new addition to Sunbreak. After you've completed the story in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and raised your Master Rank to 10, you'll be able to take on new quests called Anomaly Quests. Anomaly Quests are quests where you take on monsters that have been afflicted by the creatures Malzano once controlled, the Curio causing them to go into an ultra-violent rage. As your master rank increases, you'll gradually unlock more monsters to hunt in Anomaly Quests. In the current version of the game, version 10, you can play Anomaly Quests up to A4 star rank by completing a certain quest at master rank 50 or higher. You can use the unique materials gained from Anomaly Quests to upgrade your weapons to Rarity 10. This is the way the system involving afflicted monsters currently works in version 10. Starting from title update version 11, the quests surrounding afflicted monsters will greatly expand. We've added four new elements for hunters who are looking for something to sink their teeth into. First, let's start with the regular Anomaly Quests. With the addition of A5 star rank Anomaly Quests, you'll be able to take on new afflicted monsters such as Luna Garen and Magma Almudron. A5 star monsters will be unlocked through anomaly investigations, of which I will tell you more about in a moment, so we hope you give them a go. The beefiest new addition to this update are anomaly investigations. Anomaly investigations have a set level and as that level increases, the monsters become gradually stronger, and the rewards you can earn will change. The quest conditions, like the target monster, locale, and number of players, are all decided at random. And you can earn special materials for completing these investigations that open up new upgrades for your weapons and armor. The materials you earn from Anomaly Investigations can be used for adding new upgrades to your equipment. Pick a stat you want to upgrade, like Attack Power or Affinity. Then, pick a combination to upgrade your gear. Armor can be upgraded with random improvements to stats like Defense, Resistance, and Skill Points. I hope you will try out these investigations to create gear that matches your personal playstyle. In the new Anomaly Research Lab, opened by Bahari the Scientist, you'll be able to exchange the items you gained from Anomaly Investigations for items that are useful for curious crafting. That's Anomaly Investigations in a nutshell. The quest ranks and monsters that appear for Anomaly Quests, as well as the level cap for Anomaly Investigations, will be expanded with every new title update.
Here's some more information on other updates. For more details, please visit our official website and social media. After update version 11, we will start releasing event quests kicking off on August 18th. We plan to have new event quests every week with a variety of conditions, so we hope you look forward to them. More information on event quests will be made available on our official website and social media. We are also introducing some extra difficult event quests known as Dual Threats, which require you to hunt two monsters like Silver Rathalos and Gold Rathian at the same time. Try these if you're looking for a solid challenge. Event quests can be claimed by going to the courier at your base and selecting add-on content. After update version 11, we will also start selling new DLC. For instance, we will be adding layered armor that makes your character look exactly like certain NPCs. You can equip the Fear Rain layered armor to make your character look exactly like her, including all of her features, regardless of which body type you choose for your character. We will also sell Fiorain's voice as a DLC on the same day, so you can turn your character entirely into her. No task is too great for me. We'll have other layered armor for your hunter and your buddies as well, on top of gestures, stickers, hairstyles, and piano versions of the BGM, like what you're hearing now. You can access the Nintendo eShop via the title screen or the courier at your base. If you're planning on purchasing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, here's some more info. If you already own Monster Hunter Rise and just want to buy Sunbreak, all you have to do is buy the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. If you do not own Monster Hunter Rise yet, you can purchase the Monster Hunter Rise plus Sunbreak set to get both games at once. The various new elements added to Sunbreak can be accessed by completing the seven-star hub quest Serpent Goddess of Thunder. If you're completely new to Rise, you can claim the support armor Black Belt S set for free, which will help you get through low and high rank quests. We've also added new upgrade trees for the 14 Defender weapons, so make sure to check those out too. To recap, the free title update, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, version 11, will be released on August 10th. We also have title update 2 in store for you, which is scheduled for the end of September. We're currently working on even more free updates too. Thank you for tuning in to the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak special program. See you next time! Happy hunting!